Okay, guys, welcome to Gene Electronics. Uh, my name is Clement, and uh, today we're gonna be uh, designing. Um, okay, we're gonna be designing a ten segment bar, bar graph LED. Okay, uh, and this information is what we need. The measurement over here to be able to uh, design same same uh, uh, LED on the deep phase. Okay. So the information it's all written it's all it's all over here. Okay, so pin one and then twenty is the negative. So this side is all negative and then the positive. Okay. And then if you see this point here, you can see this kind of a corner here is an anode, okay? So this is a plus and this is pin one. So there's ten, eleven and twenty. So we know that. So from twenty to eleven is all negative. Okay. Uh, and then the distance between pin to pins is 7.5 okay uh, and then between uh, pads is 2.54 millimeters okay uh, so as you can see here that uh, all all dimensions are in uh, millimeters okay so now with all the information we know now uh, we can go ahead and start designing the the, the LED itself okay so we're gonna go ahead here and uh, we're gonna start with uh, pattern editor, okay? Okay, uh, as you can see here, uh, I, haven't, I haven't made any library here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, making our my own new uh, library um, just say all new I'm gonna say Clemo okay um, And then we're gonna leave this one. Mm, let's say just hint, Clemo, going to show up. And then we're gonna uh, choose the other. I wanna save everything to other uh, libraries, like so. And then, okay. And then the the name of the components we're gonna be using. So that is gonna be the LED. Bar graph. Okay. Now oh, let me use capital letters. Bar graph. And then we're gonna go here. Um, I'm gonna copy the data sheet and uh, paste it, paste it over there. Um, where did it go? Okay, I'm just gonna copy this, and then I'm gonna paste it over there, like so. And then we're gonna go. Here down, uh, so pattern uh, temple uh, template. I'm um, gonna go here and then um, I'm gonna use lines. Okay, it's gonna be using lines. And already, as we can see, already the measurement uh, by default is 7.6 to 5.54. So this spacing of the parts are actually quite okay. As we see here. Uh, yeah, two point five. Okay, this here. This is, so this is really nice. Uh, it's a uh, by default is two point five four millimeters. Okay, and then the distance between uh, pins uh, is seven point five. Okay, so you can see we're gonna have to adjust a little bit there, and this you can the adjustment you can do it over here. Okay, so it's a uh, number of it's two lines, and then um, the parts is gonna be twenty. So ten, ten. Okay, and then this is um oh this is twenty like so uh the 
fault spacing uh, which we just saw it's uh, 5.25 uh, millimeters my line spacing this is supposed to be 5 okay um, let's check that again um, yeah to see we okay 7.5 7.5 millimeters 7.5 okay this is perfect so this is already how things are uh, so far if I zoom it a little bit so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 in total of 20 um, and then you can go ahead here and if you are if you okay, at this point actually we're gonna be doing uh, through holes parts okay but if you want different size you can do surface and stuff like that and then it will automatically change uh, but for now we're gonna be doing through hole uh, the width I uh, I'm gonna leave it at this point around uh, everything looks okay here this is a diameter you know inside the the, the part itself um, for me it's look okay this way um so we're gonna now add a little bit of a silk uh rectangle here let's choose this one here uh, wait. oh it's not really good okay that's nice so I'm gonna assume already this the first part here is gonna be like uh, as in uh, pin number one so you need to have a kind of a reference part you know so that you, that you know where the number one is that you won't mix up later on uh, and for that reason I'm gonna add a small circle over there like so so I know this is pin one uh, and then something I like to add here actually is a couple of these well you, you do not have to add them uh, but I think if you uh, by adding them you give the the nice shape of the LED bar graph itself, so I'm just gonna do that. Obviously, they are not equal, so I'm gonna have to uh, do something about it here. Yeah. So it's look it does look like a LED bar graph. So uh, as you can see that so we have all these spaces there. Uh, so that's uh, quite okay. Uh, at this point, actually, I can go ahead and save it. Okay, um, mm so I'm gonna go ahead and save this. Uh, already, uh, this is from previous one. Uh, but since I'm just starting all over new, I'm gonna just do replace it. Okay, so you can see clear more there, and then we have our bar graph. Um, so everything is okay here. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it again and close it, and then I'm gonna go to component editor. So here we're also gonna start a new one. 
uh, new library just let's say Clamor again Clamor okay and then hint Clamor other libraries so don't mix them up so the previous one we took also other libraries so I'm gonna do the same here to the component editor as well like so and then we're gonna go ahead here and um, I'm gonna actually apply the data sheet already from the previous one this is there the name is uh, capital letters LED bar graph uh, references gonna just say LED um, yeah gonna go here two ICs okay uh, and then we're gonna change some stuff here like uh, pins 10 each side okay uh, and then we gonna have to do something else here uh, I'm gonna try to label all the 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 pins just give them the numbers uh, pin one two three and four and so forth so that it'll be easy later on not mixing up the polarities uh, so for that we're gonna go here uh, show no show show names you say for this point at, at um, by default it's, it's no so I'm gonna change this to yes so I'm gonna click and scroll all the way down and then I'm gonna click over there show names okay and then we go here we have uh, one two three four all the way to 20 so uh, this looks good but then there's some stuff we have to change here uh, the width that was I uh, think I changed 7.5 Seven point five. Seven point five. The height, well, doesn't really matter that much, I think. Uh, let me check. Well, it does matter actually. Uh, so I'll try zooming. From here till there is 25.4 okay, 25.4 millimeters 25.4 oh 0.4 like so so that's uh, that looks good uh, what did my the data sheet I thought I had it here okay so everything look good looks good the way it's supposed to uh, I'm gonna leave everything else as a default um, yeah so gonna leave at this at this point so I'm gonna uh, uh, go ahead and save my work okay yes replace it so we already created a component editor here of the LED bar graph um, so now what I'm going to uh, what I'm going to do now next is to add the the previous here yeah, attach the pattern uh, the pattern okay so click there and then you're gonna look for the pattern and remember we the, we save to the other libraries so we go there and then we claim more uh, bar graph boom there you go and as you can see uh, our notch here the, the small uh, circle there uh, rep represent pin number one and you can see they uh, correspond very nicely two three four and so on and so on so that's really nice uh, at this point I'm gonna click yes uh, okay okay 
save again now we finished so if now I go to PCB layout okay so here we go um, oh let's close it again so what you're gonna do now I'm gonna set up my uh, library um, Label setup. I'm gonna try to use to add a library here, okay? Because uh, gonna be use components. This guy here. Yeah, play more library, and then okay. And then you go. See? So I have the LED over there. Uh, but at this point actually um, if you go 3d model you can see how it looks like okay so we are gonna have to uh, we're gonna go ahead and import the um, 3d model so that can have a nice uh, nice look as well okay so close that